This is a video demonstrating how to work a wrap and turn short rows in making a short row heel. This is just a small sample here. We've got um, 32 stitches for this little sock and 16 of them are going to be used to make the short row heel. So we've got 16 stitches on the front needle. The other 16 stitches are just going to rest on the back needle. So we're going to start out by having the working yarn and we're going to knit across the row until there's one stitch remaining at the end of the row and we're not going to knit that. A short row means that not the entire row is worked. You're just working a part of the row, that's why it's called a short row. And if you don't use some mechanism to connect the last stitch worked with the next, the following stitch, you'll end up with gaps. So there's usually some sort of a wrap and turn, yarn over, some sort of mechanism to connect those two stitches. So now we've got the next to the last stitch, we're working that. Then we're going to wrap this stitch, the last one on the left needle. So we're going to slip it straight over to the right needle. We're going to bring the yarn to the front around the side and not over the top of the needle because that makes a yarn over. We're not making yarn over, so just bring it around the side to the front, slip the stitch back to the left needle, and then take the yarn back to the back of the work. So it's back in the same position it was before you wrapped the stitch. This stitch is now wrapped. It has a little necklace right there around the base of the stitch. So we turn the work. This is the turn part. We just did the wrap. Now we turn. That's why it's called a wrap and turn. We're going to work to the other side until there's one stitch remaining. We'll do a few rows of this so you can get the hang of it. Each time you will work one fewer stitches. We're coming to the end here. There's three, two, now we have one stitch remaining. Keeping the yarn on the working side, which we were doing purl rows, so the yarn's to the front, we slip the next stitch straight over to the right needle, move the yarn to the opposite side to the back in this case, slip the stitch back to the left needle, and bring the yarn back to the where it started. Now you can see the wrap around the base of that stitch. And we turn. Now we're going to work back over on the right side. So working until there's one unwrapped stitch remaining. So there'll be that wrapped stitch, but we want to stop one stitch before that. So there'll be two stitches remaining, one wrapped, one unwrapped, and they're easy to identify because when you get over there, there's a big gap between the wrapped stitch and the first unwrapped stitch. So we're going to work until up to we have the gap. Then we slip the stitch on the left needle straight to the right needle, bring the yarn from the back to the front, and start over here. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the yarn on the back side because we were knitting. We leave it there. We slip the stitch first, then bring the yarn to the opposite side, which in this case is forward, slip the stitch back, and then take the yarn back to the starting position, which when we're working with knit stitches would be on the back side of the work. Now we've got two wrapped stitches. You can see how it makes that gap. We turn the work and we're going to purl back to the other side until there's the wrapped stitch and one unwrapped stitch. And here we come and you'll be able to see the gap between the wrapped stitch and the first unwrapped stitch. Now because we're purling, the yarn's on the front side of the work. We leave it there. We slip the stitch, 
move the yarn to the back side of the work, slip the stitch back, bring the yarn back to the original position, which in this case is on the front, and then we turn. So you continue doing that until you have all of the wrapped stitches on each side of the heel. Once you have those all wrapped, which our next sample shows, here we've wrapped five stitches on each side. You can see the wraps around the base of one, two, three, four, five. And on this side, can you see those wraps? Now let's look at what they look like on the wrong side. They're very hard to see they, because they blend in with the pearl bumps. So I usually try to identify them from the right side of the work. It's easiest to see them from the right side of the work. So in this case, we've got all of our wraps. We've finished doing the decreasing short rows where each row gets shorter. Now we're going to do the second half of the heel, and that's where each row gets longer by one stitch. So we're going to work over to the first wrapped stitch, and we can identify it by the gap. There's no gap yet. Here's the gap. So the first wrapped stitch is here. This one's not wrapped, so we're going to knit it. Now we're going to pick up the wrap and conceal it. You see the wrap? We're going to go under the wrap, through the stitches if to knit, and then we're going to knit them together as one stitch. Now the wrap is concealed. It's hidden behind the stitch. But we just we're going to make another short row turn because we're going to turn around and go the other way, so we have to wrap the next stitch. So we slip it, bring the yarn forward, slip it back, take the yarn back to the back. And now that stitch has two wraps around it. We're going to turn the work, work back, until we come to the first wrapped stitch. And again, you'll identify it with the gap. So we can see these gaps over here. There's no gap between those two, so we're going to knit this one. It's not wrapped. This is the first wrapped stitch. It's easiest to see the wrap from the wrong side. So we're going to pick up that wrap, front leg of the wrap. There's the wrap. Pick it up, put it on the needle, and purl it together with that stitch. Then again, this is a short row and we're going to be turning, so we're going to wrap the next stitch. We just slip the stitch to the right needle, take the yarn to the other side, slip the stitch back, bring the yarn back to the working side, turn the work. Now that stitch has two wrapped stitches around the neck, two wraps around the neck. So how do we pick up two wraps? Because that's what we're going to do next. We work over to the first wrapped stitch which happens to have two wraps around its neck. That's where the gap is, so we know it's not this stitch, it's this one. And there's two wraps, you can see them. So we're going to go under both wraps with the needle, go under the stitch as if to knit, bring the yarn through, and through both the wraps. And this is a little tricky in the beginning, until you get used to it, you might want to treat it like an SSK. That is, you would reverse the stitch mount, put this stitch on here, this stitch on here, and then knit it like an SSK. That allows the knit stitch to be in the front. Then we're going to turn, wrap and turn, work back to this side. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side, but with the purl stitches. There's the two together, so we know this one's not wrapped. We're going to purl it. This is the wrapped one, and there's the wraps. So you can see them. So you pick one up, Put it on the needle, pick the second one up, and you kind of have to dig down for it. It's going to be way down here. You can see it wrapped around the base of the stitch. We're going to get that on our needle. 
and put it on the left needle. Now you've got three pieces over the left needle and you're going to purl all those together. Let's do one more turn where we're picking it up on the right side. We're going to work over to the right side Here's the last knit. Here's the one with the double wrap. We're going to go under both the wraps through the stitch as if to knit and pull the yarn through. Now it's all on the needle there. Then we're going to wrap the next stitch. And you continue until all the stitches have been uh, wrapped twice and both those wraps have been picked up. Now, the last thing I want to show you is once you've worked across all those stitches and all the wraps have been picked up, you will end up with two wraps on the very last stitch on each side. Now I'm going to show you how to work those and conceal the hole that usually forms when working a short row heel. This hole forms at the junction between the heel and the end step when you start working all the stitches in the round again. So we're coming over here. We've got this last stitch. It's got these two wraps around it. We're going to go through those, through the stitch, bring the working yarn through as if it's kind of like a knit three together when you're doing this. Bring the yarn through. Now what we're going to do is a little trick. I'm going to pull this yarn, this needle through, pull the needle from the instep stitches so the instep stitches are up on the needle. We're using the heel needle tip and we're going to slip the first stitch of the instep, bring the yarn to the front, slip the instep, the stitch back to the instep needle and turn the work. What that has done is wrapped that first instep stitch. We're going to pull that needle through, pull this needle back up into the working position. We're going to purl across till we come to the last wrap stitch on the other side. Sometimes it's hard to stay in the center of the camera when I'm watching my hands. Sorry if I get off center a bit. So here we're going to come up on these uh, last stitch on this side that has the two wraps around it. And this can be a little bit fiddly when there's only one stitch. You're going to catch the wrap, bring it up, catch this wrap, bring it up, purl three together. Then you're going to pull this needle through. You're going to pull the instep needle into position. Get the working yarn. With the heel needle, we're going to slip the first stitch. Now we're on the purl side, then we're going to bring the yarn from the front to the back, slip the stitch back, bring this needle back, turn the work. We're going to be back on the heel. This is the last row of the heel. Bring the heel needle into position. Now we're going to knit across the whole row. I'm going to quickly go across here. This is the last heel row and we're going to join in the round. So we pull the heel needle through. We pull the instep needle up into position. Now this first stitch has a wrap on it. We're going to go under the wrap, through the knit stitches if to knit, knit them together. We'll knit across the work. And this last stitch will be wrapped also. So this one will work 
like an SSK because see the wrap is going in the other direction. So we slip this as if to knit. And let's see, we're going to push this one up here. Get the, on the, I'm going to get the whole stitch. I split it. Darn it. Okay. Then we're going to pull the stitch out, put it as if in the stitch mount for an SSK, knit these two together. Knit one more time across the heel, and then we'll take a look at these. Now this is just a heel, it's not a whole sock, so you, you can get the idea of what it's going to look like. So now let's see if there's a hole where we joined. So there's the short row heel. You can see the short rows. And there's no hole here where we've joined. You're just going to continue knitting in the round. Let's look at the other side. This side's the same way. Looks very good. There's all your short rows. There's the stitches on one needle, stitches on the other needle. Looks good.